What is Terran Gangster William, aka OG Giggity, aka Mr. Answer Right Back, aka People's Champ? Alright, People's Champ. Yo, now I did a video, I think more than two, three times, telling y'all about Boosie and his debt road situation. But some people jacked it, some people didn't. Some people were like, oh, now, nah, man, Boosie was on debt road. Stand up, he was looking at the debt penalty, he had, ah, da, 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 all this stuff, right? And I kept explaining to you all that wasn't correct. Boozy wasn't on that road, that road. So now, hmm, somebody that was in there and go to with Boozy. That's home now. Broke it down and explained the death row situation, where Boozy was at, and everything. He did it on Real Life Street Stars. So now y'all can check it out. He did it on Real Life Street Stars. Y'all get to check it out. Y'all check it out for yourself and tell me what you think. This is what he, the brother uh, E-40 said. Not unless until the warden knew that you could really handle yourself. But Boosie didn't stay that long enough, man. They put him on a tier. Um, you can't be on death row unless you're convicted of a capital offense. All right? You can't be on death row unless you're convicted of a capital offense. So he wasn't on death row per se. He was on the tier by itself, the old debt road, when they built the now, new debt road. That came out of his mouth. That came straight out of his mouth. So, now y'all can take it you know, from there. I just want a lot of y'all to know this. And this for a lot of you street steppers. And for some that's thinking about getting in the game. And a lot of you youngsters. When you see a lot of these guys that get on this YouTube channel, or do interviews in general, who have a name for themselves, some of these celebrities, what have you, and they telling that story. Don't get too caught up in that hype. Don't get too caught up in that story because a lot of them know I got a name, I have a platform, so I can take advantage of this. I can just tell the people and they sell me a few lies because I was right here and then I could take it and add to it. And then nobody not going to really question it. But the problem is when you get into somebody that have connects, that can find out certain stuff too, it's all gonna come out. Then you're gonna be exposed. So sometimes it's just cool to let a person know, listen, I did this, this, and this, or I was on this place, I was here, I was housed here, blah, 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 and then keep it there. But when you're trying to sell a story that you was this notorious stepper and you ain't never squeezing your life, that's right, Boots ain't never squeezing his life. The man who squeezed for him is in jail now with life sentence. Um, so you're going to get exposed. And like I said, I did a few videos on this situation where he was at breaking down that he was not really on that road that he was in PC um, on, the, uh, on the new tier. And, some people, and even him, it's the crazy part about it, y'all. Even Boosie went off on me, cussing me out, disrespecting me because he said I was lying about him being on PC. And about the, you know, I, I talked about the debt row stuff. I've been screaming this, and some people was going, Oh, no, did you wrong? That man was there, this, this, he was, and this, this, is this. And now we got a man that was actually in Angola with him, and you know, he just told us the same story, but he wouldn't be more in depth because he was there, he was actually there with him, so he know the whole plate. But it go back to what I said too when me and Boosie first class. My, First video I ever did when I said Boosie, you was in PC. They were like, man, what? I said, you remember? I said, the homie used to hit me up, man, when, when, when you sent word, tell Dan, I said, what's up? You were trying to send me your book. I said, man, tell him, I said, what's up? Because well, I was interested in your book. Um, I told the homie, I said, man, make sure you're all right. And he hit me back, oh, no, he all right, he in PC. So you got upset with me about that. You cut up. I mean, I think if you would have had another shooter by you, you would have told him, get him, sick him. You know what I'm saying? You probably empty the bank account on to try to knock me off about saying that. And you was dead wrong. You know where you was housed at. Even if that just says that even if it's the even if the warden forced you there, you was on PC. No matter what. And I know it sounds a little rough, but you gotta explain, yeah, I was on PC because of this, blah, blah, blah. But and then you admitted one time off like, yeah, I was in PC, but I went, but I got a chance to go in population. I went in population. And then here's another thing you need to take population, you was in a soft camp. Where like a lot of the check-ins, a lot of the soft people who can't really live in general population. So a lot of people don't know that. 
And a lot of people used to be like, oh, you yeah, just take one thing and they take it and run with it. Because they look like, okay, this is somebody we grew up listening to the music. This is somebody, you know, one of our favorites right now who who was fast on anybody who won't have no cut card. But the problem is, your backyard dirty and you looking over the fence worrying about who else backyard that's not clean. You gotta clean your own backyard first, man, before you can be dipping in somebody else's business. That's all I'm saying, Boosie Boo. He's solid already and put it out there. He's solid put it out there. And, um, Matter of fact, while I'm on this situation, on this topic, I'm talking about East Solid. Um, first of all, this is to East Solid, you know. Shout out to East Solid, first of all. I don't need anybody to get no misunderstandings to homie. But when he said that, you know, we talked and I'm digesting what the situation was, there was nothing to digest. Before I did what I did, I already knew what I was getting myself into. So I already had in my mind, I'm going to accept any and everything that come with that. It's just the people who had love, respect, and who looked up to me was shocked and felt like, whoa, man, well, hold up, man. You know, and the crazy part about it is this. Because like I say, a lot of people follow. Once I said on Vlad that Birdman and Hotnam was in disagreement with that, and BZ, they didn't agree with that, a lot of people jumped suit and start following what they say too. Like, yeah, yeah. And when you think about it, you're like, if you told them the day, then nobody was arrested, nobody did time. Can't wait the day, up, can't go get them out of the grave. So my thing was, all right, yeah, I told watching this, all right, cool. So now what? You know, but um, as far as me digesting something, homie, nah, it wasn't nothing to digest. I did what I did, I stand on what I did, and that's what it is. I don't ask, I don't buy friendship, it's too expensive. I don't ask nobody for nothing. I'm doing fine, Allah has blessed me. To make the, the money that I make now, <clears throat> I'm able to invest. Uh, I'm able to pay for my own uh, pilot that I'm about to shoot. You know, I don't have my hands out. You know, I came out here and grind from the ground up. Built it from the ground up. You know, and I'm thankful for that. And like I say, I did what I did, bro. Whoever don't want to be cool with me, friend, that's fine. Still over there, I'm over here. I'm in my own lane. OG Giggity, the people champ, baby. I'm in my own lane. But um, shout out to East Side, bro. Keep doing your thing because a lot of youngsters need to hear your story. They need to know what's going on in Angola because a lot of them taking this stuff for granted, man. And you got them play. You 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 get that you got that spotlight now. You know, do what you do, man. Do your thing, Walter. But uh, y'all know my motto. Let's say no to drugs. Stop the body, Put the guns down. Get tested for HIV and AIDS. Y'all need to know y'all status. Got the nonprofit. They need us. Got the Instagram. They need us. Third Ward. Um, got the movie, we got the pilot that we're gonna be shooting for the movie series. Can I say it like that? Cause they always, when you say you're shooting a movie series, I don't know what it is. I just know it's like that we're gonna be doing episodes of that, and um, we're gonna be doing the casting soon. Also, um, once I get to 100k, you had a thousand dollar giveaway. You know, like I did it when I had the 50k, thousand dollar giveaway, right there on the spot. Answer the question. Go get your money, cash app. Anyway, um, y'all, thank y'all. Oh, make sure y'all download the Roku channel, Taron Gates with Network. Make sure y'all download that now. Um, I need to get to 10K. I need to get to 10K subscribers on the Roku channel. Then I can be monetized. I can get a check over there. Y'all need to help me out. Help your boy out now. I'm going to be putting y'all videos and all kind of stuff on my channel now. That's why I got I to gotta get monetized. I'll let your boy now. Um, thank y'all for all the love and support. I'm out. Wow.